What's up, family status? I hope everyone having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today we're going to plant some ginger in the ground right here. And we're also going to plant some in this container. Quick question before we start planting our ginger. What are the name of these bugs on our collard green seeds? Get you a little bit closer. See them? So before we start planting our ginger right here, we gotta add some compost and broad fork this clay soil. So now that we're doing a broad fork in this red clay, now it's time to add some compost. Okay, so now that we finished broad forking this area and adding compost, now it's time to plant our ginger the easy way. What's the easy way? Putting it straight in the ground. And we already broke them up. They were way bigger than this. We decided we're gonna keep them a little bit bigger than usual. Because I did research that said when they plant just one inch, that it doesn't do as well when you leave them this big. And when you leave them this big, it also leaves more food for the ginger to grow. So that's how we're gonna plant it. Just like this. Right in the ground. We didn't even wait for it to heal all the way. We're gonna see how it turns out. I think it should be fine. Find out. Actually, this one, let's see. I'll break this one up a little bit more. So we can add two. Yeah. One right there. We can't wait to harvest this ginger in December. And guys, this is where the sprouts are gonna come from. Am I the only one who loves the smell of ginger? But I think it smells great. If you guys aren't growing ginger, you should definitely think about it because ginger has a ton of different health benefits. Oh, and if your ginger look like this, see that white mold? Don't plant it. See it right there? Right there? Just toss it. Cause it's probably just gonna rot out. Right here is all the pieces that had that white mold stuff growing on it. I just threw it right here and I'm gonna cover it up and see what happens. Might grow, might not, we'll find out. So now that we got our ginger place where we want it to be planted, as you can see we did rows of three. All we gotta do now is cover it up in water. But before we start covering it up and watering, we're gonna add some compost to this three gallon container and we're gonna plant these two pieces of ginger in our container. Right here and one right here. 
just cover them up. We don't want to plant them too deep. Alright y'all, so today we're gonna try something different. You know we always make smoothies, but we never put ginger in a smoothie before. So we're gonna use some strawberries and just ginger because the bananas that we got not ready yet. So I wonder how this is gonna taste because you know bananas make the smoothie sweet. So you know what? Since the banana's not ready yet, I think I'm gonna just try the ginger raw, see what it tastes like. I don't know. Matter of fact, let's try it raw. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, Zane, let's see what this tastes like. Stop it. Get some help. I don't know if I'll do that again, but we can't wait to actually put it in the smoothies. That right there. You probably got all the benefits though. Yeah, it's very healthy. Very healthy, but I wasn't expecting that. My lips kind of burning. If I would have tried a bigger piece than that, if I would have tried this piece, <laughs> I didn't even see how big it was. You wanna try a piece? No. <laughs> I already know it's good. Cheese. 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 